Article 26.2 says, all customary practices which dehumanize or are injurious to the physical and mental well-being of a person are prohibited. Further, in the directive principles of state policy, um, we talk, uh, there are the cultural objectives of what the state should be. And we know that um, the constitution is an aspirational document and that the directive principles are not justiciable. So under, uh, under Ghana's constitution, culture is not used to determine whether rights are allowable. Rather, culture is assessed on the basis of whether it infringes rights guaranteed by the constitution. So the uh, chapter five, which guarantees basic rights, makes no provision for the restrictions of rights on the basis of traditional Ghanaian customs, beliefs, and values. The second point I had made was about the sanctity of marriage. So when we look at Ghanaian law, LGBTQ persons are excluded from the institution of marriage. In an earlier program that I was on this week, I tried to make the distinction between sex and marriage. That sex is a private, intimate affair Marriage is a public institution. The state has a legitimate interest in regulating marriage, in setting out the conditions under which marriage can, con 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 uh, can occur. So when it comes to um, sex, the state's interest is, whether, is in whether the person, the two people having sex have capacity, have given consent, and also that it is private, that it does not offend public decency. Those are the three grounds. Mm. So for instance, adultery may be is against most people's public morality, but it is not a crime. It is not. The state does not deal with it. So if you like, the, the, the state deals with crime, the church deals with sin. 